Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about changing your diet is changing your location. So the reason why I'm doing this is because people ask me, what should I be eating? And in the past, I would answer, um, eat a good quality fat, protein, produce, like vegetables, some fruit. And as I answer that question that way, the confusion does not leave their eyes. And they're still confused. So I've learned a few years ago to actually change my answer. And the answer is, Change, you got to change the location of where you're getting your food. So if you're going to a really crappy grocery store with really bad food and there's nothing organic in there and um, it's all um, boxed and canned on the shelves, the first step is to go to a grocery store that has some good quality food in it. So that means changing the way you drive your car. You're driving your car to a different store, to a different parking lot, and you got to get familiar with the parking lot. So this is where um, the, the stress comes in, like, oh, I have to think about where am I going to go for better quality food. Then once you enter the store, you have to change the location where you're walking to with your cart. And you're looking at different shelves and different items um, on these different shelves. So I drew a picture here. This is a store. And usually for stores, when you walk in, you turn right, there's the produce. And then as you go along these aisles, along the outer edge of the store, you have meat and dairy and eggs and uh, stuff like that. So load up on produce at the beginning and then get good quality fat and protein here. And this is the design of basically all grocery stores because in the past, decades ago, they tried to put the produce and the meat in the middle of the store and the sales were lower compared to when you put the produce and meat and dairy on the outside. Okay, so now inside these aisles, you can go down and get maybe like canned tuna or some condiments and um, if you need like paper products, stuff like that. Those are in the aisles, but stay away from like all the, the bread and the pasta unless you're getting a really good stuff and your body's okay with it. But most of your shopping is around the outside. So that's the solution. And then when you, you look there, you have to use your eyes and you identify things that you've never seen before and you read about it and you can go online and you find out like what is this so I had a patient this is a long time ago and he admitted to me after he had been with me for like six months and I was telling him about this like go to the produce section and look at what they have there and then he admitted to me later uh, that he had never purchased and he had never eaten a grape in his life and he was about 40 years old so based on these instructions he actually bought grapes and ate them for the first time in his life. Whereas before that, he just never had the training to go look for them and eat them and the other kinds of produce that are, that are, that's available in this section of the grocery store. So I have a, a story to share with you. Um, in uh, 2000, I had my cholesterol checked and it was 170 something. And then I went on, uh, I cut out all the bread, all the sugar in, in the year 2000. One year later, I got my cholesterol checked again, and it was 155. So it dropped, uh, you know, that many points because of changing my diet. And then, t like 10 years later, I got my cholesterol checked again, and it was still 155, and I was still on the low-carb diet and still eating good quality fat and protein three times a day. And I was standing at Whole Foods at their, at their uh, salad bar and their hot bar for lunch. And it was on a Sunday. It was actually July 5th, um, whatever year that was. It was Sunday. The day before was July 4th. And on that night, I actually had like three cookies. And I knew I would feel sort of weakened from it, like like uh, brain fatigue for a number of hours and just feel like weaker. I, I know what happens when I eat bad food. And on that, that, that July 4th, around the campfire with my family, I decided to have some cookies. So... I figured, you know what I'm going to do? I just had my cholesterol checked. It was still 155. I'm going to eat bad food for a month. I'm just going to eat sugar and junk food for a month and then see what happens with my cholesterol. And then I can prove that you can lower and raise your cholesterol based on your diet. So I'm standing there at the, at the hot food bar and the salad bar thinking, okay, where do I get bad food? So I'm looking around and I'm just like, well, not here because... This is the salad bar at Whole Foods, and this is the hot bar. There's no junk food here. So where else should I, can I go to get bad food? 
And I thought, well, there's going to be candy in Whole Foods down some aisle. But I don't know what aisle it is because I've never been down there. But then I thought, you know, if I want to get really bad food, I need to go somewhere else. So what store has really bad food? And I thought, yeah, okay, I know of a store where they have bad food, but then I got to go there. And it's, um, I'm not used to going there because there's another good store next to it. And then if I go there, where would I park? And then what aisle would that food be in at the other store? You know what? Forget it. It's just too difficult to change my habits and start eating bad food. And so I just gave up right there on the spot. I was like, it's too hard to eat bad food. So the point here is that you may be listening and thinking, well, you know, it's too hard to eat good food. Well, the answer is you, got, you just have to change your habits, meaning like where are you steering your car and where are you walking when you're in the store? Those are your habits. And once you get that down, it's not a matter of good food versus bad food. It's a matter of where do you go and what are you looking at and what foods are you picking up and putting in your cart? That's what it comes down to. So give yourself time and do this gradiently. You don't have to like change everything like right away. You can just go step by step and week by week. Every time you go to the store, you're looking at something new and you're discovering something new, experimenting. And, and you know what? You don't even have to cook food. You can just go to the prepared food section and you can buy salad in bags. You just open the bag and dump it in the bowl and boom, you got a salad. Add in stuff. It's easy. It's super easy to eat good food right now um, with all the prepared foods and with all the convenience of uh, what the uh, produce um, um, suppliers, have, how, they've, how they've arranged our, our produce. So I hope this helps and uh, this is my answer for how to change your diet is by changing your location and you got to change your habits.